Hey, what's up everybody? So I've had quite a few views on my review video for the anamorphic lens from Ulanzi for the iPhone. And so I thought it would be pretty cool to do a review for the one for the Osmo Pocket as well. So Ulanzi makes one for this. It comes in a kit. I think it has a wide angle lens and the anamorphic. So I'll show you a little bit about that and show you some example footage in this video. All right, cool. So this is the box. And a nice little carrying case here. I suppose it could be a little bit smaller, but it's very, very well padded. So it uh, comes with a cleaning cloth. That's always good to have. This is the wide angle lens. Whoop. This is the wide angle lens. Um, you know, it's, it's not great. Um, lots of people have already reviewed this uh, that comes on its own. This may or may not be the exact same version, but you know, it's not really what I bought this kit for. I really kind of bought it for the uh, anamorphic lens here. If anybody wants to see some footage of this or anything, just leave it in the comments and I'll make another video about it. Uh, so, but the anamorphic lens is pretty cool. As you can see, it has the, you know, the trademark, um, you know, square size here and the you know, little blue flare. Uh, clicks uh, on the same way with the magnets, uh, the same way that all of the um, Osmo Pocket lenses uh, click on. I've got a set of the ND filters and they do the same way. The magnets are pretty strong. It's really, that's a great way to do it. So one thing I wish that you could do with this that you can't is add ND filters to the outside of this. Uh, Yulanzi could probably make something that, you know, fit over the top of this and had some ND filters uh, for daytime because you really kind of need that in the daytime with these anamorphic lenses. You need to be able to cut out some of that uh, brightness. So here's my Osmo Pocket. This just clicks on like this. It's pretty sturdy and uh, it doesn't have any issues booting up or balancing. Comes right up. I've seen some lenses that uh, add more weight to it so it has some issues, but this isn't one of them. This one works great every single time, spins right up. So, and obviously, you know, you can do all your cinematic moves, your, you know, all of this. Looks pretty great. So I'll show you some footage now of this. So why would you buy this? First of all, it's pretty inexpensive, and if you already have one of these Osmo Pocket cameras, uh, it adds sort of a gimmick to it so that you can use it and get some more, uh, you know, more variety of footage out of it. It's pretty cool. You get that, you know, that J.J. Abrams uh, Star Trek newer Star Wars type of look with the lens flares, as you saw in the sample footage. So, you know, it's fun for making, you know, cool home videos with friends or making some short films, uh, you know, to experiment with, um, you know, some of your stories. Uh, but you know, all in all, you lose a lot of clarity on the lens. It's it's just medium. It, you don't lose as much as the wide-angle lens, or maybe it's just the effect is so interesting that you you don't really pay attention to it. Whichever way, you know, it's not a super high quality. Obviously, it's it's pretty inexpensive. I'll put links to it in the description so that you know you can see uh, it on Amazon, I believe, and uh, I'll put a link uh, up here to the other anamorphic lens from Ulanzi for iPhone. Um, that's a pretty interesting review too, if you want to check that out. So this thing really looks great with like, you know, flashlights and headlights or tail lights, uh, and also for like sunsets or sun through trees or something like that. If you pan across a group of trees and the sunlight's poking through, you're going to get these nice flares. Uh, you know, obviously we're kind of on lockdown right now, so I'm not really able to get out and get a lot more footage. Uh, so I just kind of had to shoot some stuff around here, uh, but I certainly plan to get out um, and do some more, especially some nighttime shooting with this, uh, with some friends and flashlights. I think it'd be kind of cool to do a story that was kind of like, you know, a mystery or a search for something and film it with this, and you would kind of get that uh, that grainy look. All right, cool. So thanks for watching. Um, once again, links in the description for all of this. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe so that you see future videos um, that I make about this type of thing. And we'll see you next time.